NHS England and NHS Improvement are merging and working closely together and the improvement function that used to be NHS Improvement is a separate directorate now which is looking at how we support uh, providers to share best practice, to look at how we use things like quality improvement and uh, data and uh, uh, other methodologies to look at improving the services. So around pharmacy, the, the key aspects have been looking at how we support the infrastructure, so that's one pillar, so how the aseptic services are provided, how medicines are dispensed and supplied to patients, how we ensure that the patient focuses first and that things like home deliveries, home care are, are really uh, actively considered. But also then we have a pillar which is the medicines optimization, so the best choice of medicines. And it's, it's fascinating, even in, the day, in, in these days of technology and uh, dissemination of information, you sometimes find there's too much information. So people still have different ways of doing things and we have to try and help them understand which is the best route. So if you look at NICE, which is National Institute for Healthcare uh, Excellence, they come out with guidance, but there's so many different strands of guidance that you can sometimes uh, miss some or get, go, to, go the wrong direction. So it's about how we support that. So we have a digital work stream that is looking at how we really push the NHS to implement electronic prescribing medicines administration and associated with that are things like closed loop medicines administration for safety purposes so you scan the barcode so you use the GS1 barcode which identifies it there's a big program called scan for safety which is uh, across the NHS looking at how you use machine readable codes to actually improve patient safety so if you scan the patient because they have a unique identifier the NHS number you scan the product you can make sure you're giving the right product to the patient you can also then look at connecting to things like smart pumps using the barcode uh, and also from an aseptics point of view, uh, Leeds uh, Teaching Trust, uh, the first trust in the UK to implement robotic dispensing. They're just in the final stages of the testing before they start using it in anger. But that's going to be a real game changer about the capacity that we have for making aseptic products that will then support the rest of the work. We've got other bits in there, so we, the NHS has to work within its means. So part of it is choice of medicines and how we actually help uh, particularly things like the uptake of biosimilar medicines, uh, a lot of work in oncology, particularly around things like uh, rituximab, trastuzumab, how we actually support trusts and show what the benefits are, because that releases money and capacity for treating more patients.